Apple finally released the long-awaited double tap feature to Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 users. Now, if you have an older Apple Watch, you unfortunately don't get double tap, but you do have something called assistive touch, which is available on all the Apple Watches that support watchOS 10. And there are a few other ones, like the Series 3, that are also supported, but it doesn't support watchOS 9 or later with the Series 3. Now, assistive touch is kind of the beginning work, I feel, for double tap, as it essentially is designed for someone who might not be able to interact with their Apple Watch using both hands. Now, this is kind of what Double Tap is built off of as assistive touch, when I've used it in the past, wasn't the greatest feature, it almost had too much going on to use it, and Double Tap is built into the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 used with the S9 processor. Now, this new S9 processor is a lot faster, Apple said, and it also has a new 4-core neural engine, which allows for Double Tap. And I gotta say, in my first hands-on with Double Tap, it's a great feature, I just don't think it's kind of worth it, essentially, as it doesn't do everything we thought it would be able to do. So, Apple says Double Tap is able to do a lot of things, which it is. So you can open the smart stack just from your home screen or your watch face just by double tapping. And it's been great using that. You can answer and a phone call just by double tapping. You can also view messages from notifications and so on, scroll through these notifications, reply or even send a message with these with double tap and i've done all these and it's actually been pretty cool now you can also pause resume or end a timer so basically whatever the primary action is of that app you can also stop or resume a stopwatch snooze an alarm play or pause music from any audio app such as music podcasts audiobooks you can switch to the new elevation view in the compass app you can take a photo from your iphone using camera app you can start or stop automatic workout reminders, as well as perform the primary action from notification, such as replying to a message or snoozing reminders. So, I think that feature of the primary actions kind of needs to be a little reworked. So, perfect example, I got an X or Twitter alert yesterday after installing Double Tap and WatchOS 10.1 on my Ultra 2. And I double tapped thinking it would dismiss the notification and it liked the post instead of dismissing the notification like I wanted it to do. Now, in your iPhone, there is a double tap customization screen which allows you to kind of pick what you have. So you can turn it on or off and you can also t pick what you want the playback to control to be or smart stack. So for playback, you can make it play or pause or skip. I've actually changed mine over to skip because I feel if I'm more gonna double tap, I'm going to want it to skip the song instead of play or pause, as you can just tap, or you can also use Siri. There's other ways to do it. And in the smart stack, you can select a specific widget, so if you want to just double tap and have it select that first widget, or if you want to advance. Now, overall, it's pretty interesting, because there are certain apps in certain cases where double tap doesn't work. So Apple says it won't work with EKG when you're taking your heart rate, blood oxygen, or during walkie-talkies, maps during navigation, mindfulness when during an active session, or an SOS feature, workouts, as well as the sleep focus mode. Now, all of these are make sense for the most part, but it not working during workouts is something I personally find very annoying, as just a simple double tab to end my workout would actually be so beneficial to me, because when your hands are covered in stuff and dirt and chalk, and just the ability to just double tap to end my workout would be amazing. But I can't. I have to touch the screen and swipe over as double tap is essentially useless if you're in the workout app. But if you go to your home screen or swipe even over to the music app to control the music, you can double tap. Now, during EKG, heart rate, blood oxygen, that all makes sense because if you're double tapping while you're doing it, you're going to disrupt the signal and it's not going to be able to read your heart rate, take your EKG, or your blood oxygen. Now, during sleep focus mode is something that I think I should be able to kind of set a specific time from, which kind of is what sleep focus mode does, but I think it should work during wind down time, but not when I'm in sleep. And what I mean by this is, so I have my wind down time set for 30 minutes beforehand, and if I'm still wearing my Apple Watch and doing stuff, and I get a notification and I just want to double tap to dismiss it or respond to it or just interact with my Apple Watch because my hands are full, I think it should still work. I don't think it should be kind of blocked off because Apple doesn't want it to work during sleep focus mode. And also during emergency SOS, it also doesn't work because of the fact that if you are making an emergency SOS, it kind of wants to be 100% sure that this is what you want to do. It doesn't want to misread it 
because of something, maybe there's an injury or something where you can't move your your hands or your fingers, they kind of want to make sure they're not going to accidentally activate, which I think makes perfect sense. Now, to use double tap, you do have to invoke the watch, double tap using either your pointer finger or your middle finger and your thumb. So personally, what I found works best is my middle and thumb as I just have to double tap and then my Apple Watch brings me to a smart stack or whatever I need to. As in the messages app, if I double tap, it opens the ability to compose a new message, which is just so cool. And it honestly is such a great feature using it, but there are a lot of annoyances. Now, it is only the beginning as this was just released with watchOS 10.1 and iOS 17.1, which have been both amazing upgrades and they kind of fixed all those initial bugs that came out with iOS 17 and watchOS 10 as it's finally a lot smoother and a lot snappier, I feel, which is in hand with the S9 chip. But overall, double tap works in great ways, but it doesn't work in all the ways. So a prime example being if I open the activity app and I double tap, I would want it to do something. Instead, I just get a little shaking hand as there doesn't know what to do. Personally, I would like for it to scroll through the app and kind of just even scroll through. Like if I do it in my notification center and I double tap, it again just shakes at me and tells me there's nothing for it to do when I most likely would want it to just scroll through those notifications. But if I have a really long notification and I double tap, it'll scroll through and kind of go through them, which it's kind of annoying. But as I said before, it is a beginning and we'll have to see how this plays out in the future. But I want to know your opinions if you have an Apple Watch Series 9 or Ultra 2 and you've used Double Tap or do you think this whole thing is kind of overrated because that's kind of the camp I'm leaning towards. But while you're down there, if you want to hit like and subscribe, I'd also appreciate that as well because it lets me know that you're enjoying this content that I'm making and I also want you to remember today's a good day to make a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.